Welcome back to Tain's Lady Info. Due to the Russia-Ukraine war, we keep hearing news and updates regarding the Russian K-52 attack helicopters. Even though the Russian Air Force has a variety of attack helicopters in their fleet, the K-52 alligator attack helicopters are something special for them. The K-52 attack helicopter is a highly upgraded version with a two-seat side-by-side cockpit for the Russian Air Force. Russia currently operates almost 100 plus K-52 helicopters in their fleet. Due to the invasion of Russia in Ukraine, they have lost more than a quarter of its total in-service fleet of K-52 attack helicopters which were sent to Ukraine. These attack helicopters were shot down using the anti-aircraft missiles or using Man Portable Air Defense System or BUK-M1 Air Defense Systems. We can't deny that K-52 is one of the best attack helicopters in the world, but when such a helicopter is shot down by a lesser-cost anti-aircraft missile, it doesn't look good and doesn't go well with the Russian Defense Forces. The K-52 helicopter is mainly used to destroy the enemy's harmored and unharmored ground targets, low-speed aerial targets and personnel at the front line. During the Russia-Ukraine war, the K-52 chopper was mainly used for destroying Ukrainian tanks. The extensive deployment of air defense systems and anti-air missiles by the Ukrainian military has been strongly supported by many NATO countries and this has become a great defense protection for Ukraine. Due to such expanded defense protection in Ukrainian airspace, the Russian aircraft started firing missiles from a standoff distance. Sometimes, in order to destroy the Ukrainian tanks, the K-52 had to get near the range of air defense system of Ukraine due to which these helicopters are at risk of being shot down. One more reason for which Russia is losing so many attack helicopters is due to the lack of effective fixed-wing close-air support near the front line. Russian commanders are likely increasingly conducting high-risk attack helicopter missions as one of the few options available to provide close support for the troops in combat. So to summarize, the reason for which so many K-52 attack helicopters were shot down was due to the requirement of close air support and the strategy used by Ukraine was to use extensive air defense systems and accurate places where they were deployed. So that was a small video to just rewind all possible situations and scenarios due to which Russia lost the K-52 and other attack helicopters. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.